Hey everybody, I hope you all are doing well and welcome back. And today we are doing a wander from the duty-free section of Los Angeles International Airport, also known as LAX. Because lately we've been doing a fair amount of traveling, which means we get to take a look at some really unique whiskeys that kind of sort of only really exist in these little ports of entry. You don't see them at like a BevMo or a Costco or a Total Wine. Things like a Hibiki Master Select, the Jack Daniels Bottle and Bond Travel Exclusive, and one very interesting one from the McAllen's, the McAllen's Terra, as well as a bunch of other whiskey that you just, again, don't see that often out in the wild. Now, if you like these videos, if you like the wanders, if you like the hauls, if you like the reviews, the unbottlings, the unboxings, and really all the other great stuff we got cooking up for you, and we have tons of great stuff cooking up for you, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, and you get notifications when our newest videos come out on Sundays and sometimes in between. All right, so real quick, before we get started off, let's do a whiskey check. And today, I'm going to be drinking a whiskey, a Japanese whiskey, or maybe it's not Japanese whiskey. I don't really know, and I don't really care, because I do enjoy the way it tastes. Uh, but I'm going to be drinking a little bit of this uh, Shibui 18. And there's not much less of it, so I think I may end up killing this one off a little bit. Let's get a glass. Get a... Ah, no pop, unfortunately. Pour a little juice for myself. Not too much. Ah, you know what? Let's call it a day. And to whiskey, because honestly, you can never really drink too much of it. You only just drink it too fast. Cheers. Ooh, mushroomy, malty. That's good. All right, so first up today is going to be the Hibiki Harmony Master Select. Uh, Hibiki is one of the flagship whiskeys that is put out under the Suntory Group, which is a Japanese distiller and one of the oldest ones, who also happens to own the other distilleries of Yamazaki, Hakushu, and Chida. But the Hibiki lines, especially after they had to pause the age statement versions like the Hibiki 12, have replaced their lower lines with a variety of blends that fall under the Harmony umbrella. So as you can see, there's actually a, a large variety of them. This Hibiki Master Select is one of those versions of Harmony that is purportedly specifically blended for the travel market. And although it does not have an age statement on it, it's a blend of whiskeys from all three of the Suntory distilleries and consists of 10 different types of whiskeys that have been matured in American white oak, sherry cask, as well as Mizunara, oak cats. Now here at LAX Duty Free we can see that the cost on it is at 135.00 cents which is kind of a weird number here in the US because a lot of times you would actually see it put out at $134.99 instead of $135. Um, so you just don't see the extra zero zero cents that often, you know, in the normal roundabout things in the U.S. Because this is a travel market only bottle, there isn't really a comparison to be made at the other places like a Total Wine or BevMo or a Costco where you could find it because it's not sold there. But I will say is that for the $135 price range, um, it is just going to be above some of the other varieties of Hibiki. For example, the Hibiki Limited Edition, which is a pretty cool bottle. I think we have one. The Hibiki Limited Edition, uh, again really beautiful bottle <laughs> it's amazing uh, we found this one at costco for 119 dollars and 99 cents but also if you're willing to put up a couple extra bucks you could also splurge and get the habiki blossom harmony uh, which is a different blend with the spirit of the cherry blossom season in mind uh, which i have seen at costco as well for 159 dollars and 99 cents so at 135 dollars the habiki master select well it's kind of expensive for what you're getting the ABV on the Hibiki Master Select is a bit underpowered for American preferences, especially for those lovers of bare bone at 43%. But my experience with the Hibikis is that the lower ABV actually suits the subtleness and balance profile that the whiskey has. Uh, if it did have a way higher ABV, then it would definitely throw off the harmony <laughs> of, of the whiskey and of the bottle. Now, the tasting notes on the Master Select mentions a nice melange of vanilla, honey, orange citrus, oak, nutmeg, and bitter chocolate, which really does sound a lot more like fancy tea than Japanese whiskey. Like you gotta be wearing like a, a big hat, a big purple hat while you're drinking it with your pinkies up. 
Now, the review scores that I can find on it, uh, and bear in mind, it is pretty limited because, you know, if you think about it, the number of people who are buying this in the travel market who are also writing reviews on it are rather limited. But the reviews I could find on it gave it a decent 82 points out of 100. So for me, uh, the Hibiki Master Select is going to be a bottle that, you know, I was considering to get on the way back uh, just because uh, it was the very beginning of the trip. And as you see, we end up getting some pretty amazing bottles. So it actually ended up not getting it all. But if it had been available on the way back and we had not found the amazing bottles that we did while we were in Europe, then I probably would have, you know, brought it back. So this one was a buy if I could find it on the way back. But we had so much stuff that I didn't buy it because I don't want to raise too many eyebrows at customs. Uh, perhaps it's not too much. So the next one up uh, that we saw at the LAX Duty Free uh, at Tax Free <laughs> is one that definitely piqued my interest, which is this Jack Daniels Single Barrel Traveler's Exclusion. Now, Jack Daniels and I have a rather sordid relationship. Uh, in my youth, uh, Jack Daniels was always one of those friends who liked to get me into trouble, primarily because he was cheap and he was accessible, just the way I liked him. <laughs> so eventually, now as an adult, seeing a high-end luxe version of Jack Daniels always makes me chuckle a little bit. Uh, it'd be like seeing a luxury Saturn sedan all of a sudden come out. And uh, maybe they can do it, but, you know, to me, it's always going to be that 2000s Tupperware type Saturn car. <laughs> but this Jack Daniels single barrel is a traveler's exclusive, which means you can only buy it in these kind of ports of entry. And the first and most noticeable thing about it is that it is ABV'd at 50%. It is bottle and bond, which means that it is made up of whiskeys that are from the same single distiller season. Uh, it has the appropriate ABV at 50%. And the whiskeys aged a minimum of 5.5 years. Also, according to the website, it is made from whiskeys that were stored, I guess, higher up in the warehouse, which means allegedly, purportedly, that they are warmer and they get more exposure to the barrel and that gives it a better flavor or changes the taste somehow. Sounds like a marketing ploy, but uh, yeah. Oh, also it is only available uh, and sold in the travel market. So again, you won't find it at a Costco or a BevMo or a Total Wine. Now the price that we see it here uh, at the LAX Duty Free is at $65, which I mean, honestly is not that, that much, but um, it does kind of sit between what you get at Total Wine at $68.99, which is the Jack Daniels Barrel Proof, which is ABV'd at a whopping 65.45%. Or even for a few dollars less, you could get the Jack Daniels Triple Mass, which is at also at 50% ABV at Costco for something like $31. So, you know, aside from being in the barrels that are higher up and the fact that it says travel exclusive only, you know, it's hard to think that this price on it is really justified. Now, again, noticeably, like I said, the ABV on is at 50%, and the tasting notes on it mention things like caramel, vanilla, slight spice, banana pancakes, oak, and soft leather. And the fact that it seems to be a little bit more well-balanced than the normal Jack Daniels, um, which, again, is not really saying that much. So it sounds like a typical Jack Daniels palette. The review scores on the travel exclusive is at 77 points out of 100, which to me... Um, is probably a good indicator that this is just a normal up ABV Jack Daniels, maybe even the triple mash, uh, you know, slapped on with a travel label to boost up the price and, uh, you know, try to sell it to unwilling, tired, jet lagged travelers. So me, uh, this one was definitely going to be a pass. Okay, so last but not least for this wander is a whiskey that really I see pretty often when I travel, uh, which is this McAllen's Terra. Now, the McAllen's, as a whiskey, sort of ambivalent about. I know it's really kind of the most uh, center line scotch, and it's a great scotch to start out with, and by far it's one of the most popular, maybe second only to Johnny Walker. Um, but every time I drink it, it, it never just wows me, right? It's more of just like a, yeah, it's okay. It's, it's not bad, but it's, it's not wow. Furthermore, I found that the McAllen's often will hype up their own whiskeys uh, with kind of strange backstories, like collaborations with professional violinists or some sort of fake provenance or whimsical marketing adaptations to try to paper over the fact that whiskey is, in many cases, just kind of run of the mill unless you get to the very, very top end. But this one to me is interesting uh, because, well, one, I only see it when I travel. Uh, and also because it's got a real Captain Planet thing going. So this one is going to be the Earth. Uh, there's another one that is like wind. There's another one that's water. Maybe they have one that's heart, right? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, this McAllen Terra, well, it's aged using a once-filled sherry oak cask, which the aim is to try to give it a pleasant, sweet, earthy flavor, which, again, is something that I really like. 
Oh, also kind of chintzy. According to McCallum, the sherry casks they use to put the whiskey in and store it, they themselves have traveled over 10,000 miles uh, to try to add mileage to it, I guess. I don't know, maybe to connect it to the travel market thing and make you feel like, oh, you're traveling, they're traveling. I think that's kind of what they're doing. Uh, and But unfortunately, there is no age statement. And uh, again, this is something that is just at the duty free. Now here at the LAX duty free, we can see that the McAllen Terra is at $191.00, which I think um, is obviously going to be on the high side. And this, again, must be something that people are buying as gifts to like business people for, to their destination or something like that, or maybe gifts for their friends or families, um, because it's a lot of money for what you're getting. That's especially when considering that for a few dollars less, you could get something like the McAllen Classic Cut, which uh, I think is pretty good. Or even for just a few dollars more, in fact, eight dollars more, you could get the McAllen Harmony Collection, which would be leaps and bounds better, again, just for a few dollars more. Now, the ABV on the Terra is a very meager 43.8%, which, again, is great for a Japanese whiskey, but, uh, you know, for modern times, I think it's not enough for a normal scotch. Uh, the tasting notes on it do mention things like maple syrup, a, a very young taste, cloves, sultanas, as well as a very healthy dose of ethanol. So it does seem like you. <laughs> the review scores on it uh, are not very friendly, uh, putting its score at 79.39 points out of 100, which, you know, is a C, but uh, it seems, you know, maybe a little below average. So... Uh, for this one, and really for all the members of the Captain Planet versions of uh, the McAllen, I think it could be a pass for me. All right, so that's it for today's Whiskey Wanders at the LAX Duty Free. And I hope you enjoyed it. And really, all this month, we are going to have some great Wanders and reviews from our travel abroad. And if you do like the Wanders, if you like the hauls, if you like the reviews, if you like the wandering abroad, <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, that way you can get updates when our newest videos come out on Sundays and sometimes in between, like this one. Now just remember, wherever you're going in the world, if you do find a whiskey that you love, just buy it. Because if you don't, somebody else surely will. Maybe not in this case, but in the future, it might even be me. All right, everybody, have a great rest of your week. I'm out, and adios.